full time. Um, the uh, couple things uh, happened while I was in school. One, uh, for unexplained reasons, my mother fell into a coma. Oh. Just starting to sound for me. Mm -hmm. huh. It was never determined the source of the coma. Blood sugar was fine, blood pressure was fine. At this, this was in 1976, so there were CT scanners. I could put her in an ambulance and take her to, to Atlanta and get an NCT. That was fine. A friend of mine had done a cerebral angiogram on her, and it was fine. She lived 33 days. She had some loosened periods where she could converse with my dad, converse with us. But she died the day after his birthday, in December of 76. Um, a bad thing. The good thing that happened uh, uh, was this gentleman was born in 1978. That's her oldest son, Chris. That's him. He's dressed in scrubs. He's a nuclear pharmacist. So he was born in 78. Right after he was born, my uh, my uncle Ed died. And that was really hard. Anyway, uh, yeah. I got accepted to a radiology residency in Savannah, and we moved in June of 1978 with a little baby. Uh, I did a, uh, I did a, a an internal medicine internship, and then did my radiology. And in 1980, our second baby was born. This is him from the other day. He passed us to. This is our middle son, Reed. He's a Regional pilot for Delta. Uh, he lives in Memphis, but flies out of JFK. Uh -huh. okay, so yeah. He, a, he flies. A, he looks like it's mama. Canada Air Regional Jet. So. Yeah, he looks like his mama. He does. He does. Uh, like finish, finished residency and board, board, board certified in '82. Uh, just before my oral boards, I had back operation number three. Uh, not good. And uh, I was. I stayed in Savannah for a year uh, after after uh, finishing residency. And then we moved to Statesboro, Georgia, which is about 50 miles inland of Savannah. And, and for the 1970 census, Statesboro was less than 10,000, so it qualified. So I could you know, pay back my loan, didn't have to pay that, or my scholarship, I didn't have to pay that. Uh, so we moved to Statesboro. I was working at the local hospital there. I started taking flying lessons. It was a great place to learn how to fly. A lot of open fields, this sort of thing. So uh, uh, I learned to fly on a grass strip. Uh, and I will tell you, being as I've made a, uh, a <coughs> promise to tell you all, on May the 12th, 1985, I had a power line in a 172. <laughs> I had a power line in a Cessna 172. Now to make that worse, the boys were in the back seat. Connie was in the front seat, and she was pregnant with Anson. We did fine. <laughs> All survived. Uh, it was a learning experience, especially for me. Uh, and uh, I got better and better. I got really serious about it, and uh, uh, became a better pilot because of it. Uh, our daughter was born in 1985. Some, a couple of pictures of her. This is her. She's a she is a, a free spirited soul. She's a singer in uh, in Austin, Texas, uh, under the name of Savannah Red. So she does blues. She does blues and jazz singing. There we go. There we go. Here's another picture of her with her boyfriend. He's a great guy. As long as you keep your eyes closed, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's an opinion. That's an opinion. He's a great guy, but he's got the dreads and the tats and the whole deal. Like I said, if I keep my eyes closed, it's out really great. Okay. So, <clears throat> 1989, back operation number four. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there's another one in there that I've forgotten which one it was, so we were, I was really up to five by then. Uh, 1991, Connie diagnosed with breast cancer stage two. Bad day. Bad day. Uh, that was in January of 1991. In August of 1991, we 
we uh, opened our own imaging center. We opened the Space Bear Imaging Center, uh, primarily focused on mammography, diagnosis of breast cancer, breast biopsy, this sort of thing. That was already on the drawing board before pre diagnosis. Uh, at its, at its heyday, we had 30,000 patients. You had what? 30,000 patients. The first day? or No, at its heyday. At its, at its peak, it had 30,000 Oh, yeah, patients. wow. Right. Uh, and then I was, the, I was the only radiologist. I was the only physician. We had about 25 employees. Uh, 1995, back operation, either five or six, I've lost by now. Uh, I left me with a foot drop. That's why you've seen me walk funny. I walk funny because the foot drops and occasionally turn on and during all the stumble. It's a lot better than it was. When this first happened, the, the left leg was totally paralyzed uh -huh. and I had to walk with a, with a cane and all this kind of stuff. But So it's a lot better than, than it was. Um, during the time we uh, owned the office, we built a cabin at Lake Lure in 2005. Uh, and I stayed at, at the Imaging Center until February of 2013. We sold the uh, office and the, and the house and moved to delightful Rankin, Georgia. Why? <laughs> Rankin is this little little town in a little, it's, what's the meth capital of Georgia? It's just small. But our, our oldest son and his first wife had a house there that they had vacated and it was in bad shape and they wanted to, wanted to fix, you know, need to fix it up and sell it. So Connie took on the, the jobs. We moved to Rankin. <laughs> we oversaw the fixing up and the selling of the house that we lived there. Uh, lived there about a year and a half. Uh, oh, I missed uh, I mean, one thing. I need to go back and you see life comes at you as a shotgun. 1998. I had back operation six, seven, or seven, eight, nine. Uh, had had two infections and just a horrible time. That was in Birmingham. <coughs> anyway, so in uh, 2014 we moved to. Lake Lure in June of 2014, and I've been able to work with a radiology group uh, via internet. The wonderful Skyrunner people have fast internet. And other people do too, but they were the first ones to tell me. Uh, anyway, so I work in my basement, and I've got a workstation there and all that stuff, so that, that's what I do there. I used to travel, used to fly back and forth to a, a hospital down in Metter, Georgia, and I realized I, I don't have a picture of the airplane. I've got a picture of the airplane, but I don't have a big picture of it here, so... I'll just pass this around. You know what it's going to do. It's going to blink on us and go crazy. But uh, uh, anyway, there we go. If it, if it goes out, just touch it. It'll come right back. Oh, so anyway. <coughs> Where do you uh, keep that? Where do you keep that's that? That's over at Rutherford County Airport. Okay. Rutherford County. It's, uh, I keep it in a community hangar over there. Uh, and I've got, I've got a few of the pictures I want to show you before I wrap it up. I'm very close to wrapping it up. All right. Oldest grandson, Aww. and he's the he's the cello player. His name is Owen. He's so he's uh, he's into music like Granddad and all the rest. And his dad plays guitar, too. and his uncle, the, the pilots, are an excellent drummer. And then uh, here's Evan. He's ten. Of course, he's at the Wright Brothers Museum in Kitty Hawk. <laughs> I think I may have had some influence. On my cat. <laughs> And uh, uh, here is a, a picture of the youngest. This is Joshua. He's five. My son Chris, and this is my Aunt Virginia. You may have heard me mention Aunt Virginia before. And she was on the back of the uh, songs Mama Love as a young girl with a long dress. Yes. This is her. And, and she should make it to uh, 100. I hope we're hoping to do on January 2nd, 2019. We're hoping to have a big 100th birthday party. Wow! Wow! Yeah. We're hoping. Anyway. So. Anyway. This is uh, all that's left of a huge textile mill in Lindale, Georgia. A couple of smokestacks in one building. The mill was at least 10 times the size, maybe 20. Huge. It employed 3,000 people. It's a, it's a stack of bricks. And it's, a, it's a sad thing to see, but that's all over the south. Textile mills. Anyway, uh, it's been a wonderful trip. I've had a lot of highs and lows. Spent a lot of time as a doctor. Spent a lot of time as a patient. A lot more than I ever dreamed I would. Uh, 
met a lot of nice people along the way, uh, had a lot of help along the way, we both did. And uh, I thank God for life, and I thank Connie for wanting me to live that life. Aww. Aww. That's, so That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we can turn around and look at it. Yeah. That's your bride. Uh, questions? There's got to be some questions. I don't. I don't want to break HIPAA laws, but was it your accident that caused all this back problem? I don't know. Uh, not not initially, because the accident was in '64, and I didn't start having problems until about '67. So young when it started. Yeah. Gracious. That was my question. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, not 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 known directly. No. Um, I asked that question along the way too. Is there something broken in there that caused all this? Stuff? This is beautiful pictures. My question is: Is the small town that you had to be five years in? What was? What town? Statesboro. Oh, Statesboro. Okay. Uh, you have a state's bill in North Carolina. This is Statesboro. Oh, okay. Right. It's the only borough. It's the only state's borough in the United States. Oh, okay. Still come back right now. Give us one really. How big was it? Uh, well, at the, at the time of the uh, 1970 census, it was less than 10,000. Now, when we moved there, it was a town of about 30,000. Wow. And then, and then no, you didn't count Georgia Southern University, which was there, too. Yeah. It was a college, and we moved there. It was like 3,500 kids. And uh, when we left, it's like 20,000 kids. Oh, wow. So they didn't count. They don't, they don't count the student population as, as part of that. Okay. But that worked out really, like I said, it worked out real well for me, and, uh, uh, and I know, and I recall that ten thousand dollars being a lot of money in 1974. I just can't fathom what kids are being charged mm -hmm. today. Yes. Right. I mean, I, accounting for inflation, still. I mean, you know, you you get out of school owing a half a million dollars. Yeah. How are you going to pay that back? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because 19, what year? What year? 1974. All right, 74, we bought a house for like 30000 Yeah. You know, that, that, so it was three, you so know. So it goes up 10 times. So you buy a house right. for 300000 Right. Uh, well, 10000 to 100000 Yeah. But these right. kids, yeah. that's a drop in the bucket. For so that would only be like three, yeah. Absolutely. All right, I ran over my three minutes time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You did great. Thank you. Story of Chuck Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Yeah.